guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Sheep Boom Ba by One Day West Games. It plays two to four players, takes about 20, maybe 30 minutes to play, and it's for ages eight and up. And in the game Sheep Boom Ba, you're gonna be playing as farmers herding sheep into a barn. Now, that normally seems like a fairly mundane exercise, but in Sheep Boom Ba, you have to be aware of landmines as you're trying to achieve victory by gathering your sheep and placing them into your barn area. Make sure that they do not blow up and turn into little angel sheep because that will lose you points in the game. You'll score points based on the tiles that you're flipping up and getting your, your certain uh, sheep into the barn, as well as having other players' sheep blow up in the process. Plays up to four, like I said, so you can have a wide variety of different characters moving around trying to get their sheep to the locations they need to be at, as well as, of course, avoiding those dreaded landmines. Will you be the best uh, farmer at securing your sheep and avoiding the explosions that are incoming, or will you decimate your flock and leave yourself penniless? Find out in the game. I'll show you down below what it looks like, how to play above, and then my outro. Welcome to Sheep Boom Ba, and as you see, I've set it up for two players. If you're playing with more players, simply you'll use these components as well. But I went ahead and set them aside because I'm just going to show you the two-player setup for the game. First thing you're going to do is give every single player a player board, as well as a score marker, these little white sheep here, and place them on the number zero. Everybody's also going to get these barn tokens, which you'll be placing them onto the board when your barns pop up, and you're going to get a number of sheep. Uh, you're also going to get a die. You can set each die next to the player corresponding to their color. Go ahead and shuffle this deck here and deal out four cards to each player and take all of the safe to cross tiles and place them next to the board. You'll be using them throughout the game. Then go ahead and in clockwise order, the back of these little tiles here are going to be uh, valued in a uh, letter. You're going to go ahead and go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and go all the way around until you form this square. Take the required tiles based on the number of players and place them here face down. They will range from safe tiles to explosion tiles. And then finally, in player turn order based on the last person who saw a sheep, place down one sheep in each of these starting locations here, one at a time clockwise until all sheep have been placed. And in a four player game, all these spaces should be filled, but in a two player game, there should be room for movement. Then, of course, make sure you have this 5x5 five five grid here in the middle of the board with these tiles all face down, randomly assorted so nobody knows where any of the tiles are supposedly going to be. Then the game is ready to begin. And to start the game off, the first player is simply going to go ahead and take two actions. On your turn, there's two things you can do. The first thing you can do is move, and you can move up, down, left, right, or you can move vertically. So you can move uh, uh, like this. Or oh, of course, up, down, left, and right. So you can move one space, and you can move that same sheep twice, but that would be two actions. So if it was Blue's turn first, they could go one, and then they could go two. That would be both of their actions. When they move a sheep onto a space on the board that was not previously uncovered, you're going to need to uncover that space. So in this instance, if I moved here for my first action, I would flip this tile over and see what it is. If it's an explosion, your sheep is going to explode and it's going to go into the graveyard area. And if it is a barn tile, your sheep will go into the corresponding colored barn area. And if it is a safe tile, you will simply score one point on the tracker, moving your little sheep up one on their victory point tracker. Those are the three main spaces in the game. Uh, and your objective is, of course, to get all of your sheep into your barn um, and score more points than any other player. So action one, I'd go here and I'd flip this over and explode. Now, you can check your hand because some cards in your hand will actually prevent you from passing on. Here's a card that called, it's called Hero of the Herd. It says you can defuse a land and mine uh, tile, and after you do so, uh, you'll replace it with a cone. Uh, there's the safe tiles, which will basically happen once your sheep blows up, if you don't have a Hero of the Herd or some other card that will help you, you'll replace this with this, meaning that the landmine is now gone, but your sheep will go away. If you did, however, play Hero of the Herd, you would actually use the opposite side, still removing this, and you would actually score two points on your victory point tracker. So having those cards is very beneficial. That would be the first action. Playing this card will put the card into the discard pile next to the deck. Then your second action, you can go ahead and move again. 
uh, and flip over the, any tiles that are that are previously not turned over. This would score the player one point. Another thing to note is if you walk on a tile that was already previously flipped over, that was a safe tile, you do not score any points, as well as if you land on a cone or a safe to cross tile, you don't score any as well. However, if you do land on the barn tile, you will go to that player's associated barn. So if a blue player ended up going onto a red barn, that sheep will go into the red player's barn, scoring that player points at the end of the game. Additionally too, when the uh, barn gets revealed, the player who revealed that barn will score that number of points on their board. So if blue uh, took their next turn and on their first action they moved here and flipped this over, they would score three points, but their sheep would go into the red player's barn. Okay. Um, another thing you can do as an action instead of moving is you can move sheep from your barnyard to your barn. So if you have sheep for any reason in your barnyard, they score less points here at the end of the game. You can actually take them and place them into your barn area, scoring you additional points at the end of the game. And that's pretty much the idea of the game. Cards in your hand are free actions and you can use them on your turn to do whatever they say. And some of them will allow you like, um, uh, there's certain cards that will allow you to actually utilize them in, on a turn that is not yours. At the end of your turn, uh, you can of course discard cards you don't want, and then you can draw back up to four cards and you'll pass, and the next player will then get a chance to go, moving their sheep, flipping over tiles, exploding if need be, and replacing those explosions with safe to cross tiles, and then flipping over normal tiles and scoring their base points, and of course playing any cards if they'd want. There's sheep battles, there's some fox you'll deal with, there's a Bach to life card, which will allow you to move sheep from your graveyard back to a starting space, and a U-turn, a whole bunch of different types of cards. In general, you cannot move a sheep from a tile area back to a start space. However, certain cards will allow you to do that, but otherwise the game will just continue until one player manages to get all of their sheep off onto their barn board. As soon as they are there, whether they be in the graveyard, barnyard, or the barn, the game will trigger its ending and every player will have an additional turn. After that, you'll check the points that you currently have. You'll score additional points for any cards in your hand, any sheep that are yours or your opponents in your barnyard or your barn, and you'll also subtract points for any sheep in your graveyard. And whoever has the most points at the end of the game is the winner of the game, Sheep Boom Ba. Pretty simple, yet uniquely strategic, family-based sheep explosion game. The first things to note is that no sheep were actually harmed in the making of this game, and of course, that it is a family game. Your objective is to move your sheep, whether it be on the field or from your barnyard to your barn, attempting to score as many points as possible. Obviously, you'll score more points for your sheep going into your barn, but it doesn't hurt to actually get other players' sheep into your barn as well. There's certain cards that will allow you to move other players' sheep into your barnyard or barn, as well as there's certain things they can have you choose to make their opponents explode with the random mines that are drawn across the field. Depending on the number of players in the game will determine the setup and how many mines are going to be associated in the game, but it's fairly straightforward and it plays the same whether it's two or four players. The difference being more shenanigans with more players, less spaces to go on, and of course you cannot go on a space that is already previously occupied, unless it's a barn space, in which case you're going to be placing your sheep onto that colored barn area, scoring that player points, and of course scoring points when you reveal those tiles. It's not necessarily bad to reveal a barn area because you do score three points for doing so, but you'll lose your sheep, which could net you points throughout the game. Uh, so it's got this double-edged sword feature to it. It's a family-based game in the fact that it has some take that me mechanisms. There's a random amount of chance because you don't know what cards you're going to be drawing. You don't know what tiles are laid, where they're laid. And the strategy comes in about midway through the game when you start seeing where everything is located, how you need to get your sheep into the best position to make sure they get into the barn area, spending your cards wisely to make sure that your sheep do not end up in sheep heaven, as well as to make sure that they end up in your barn and not your opponents. Will you save cards throughout the game in attempts to protect your sheep, or will you spend them as quickly as possible to gain benefits from the actions presented because you get to draw up to four cards every turn and utilizing them is good, or as opposed to saving them could potentially net you nothing throughout the entire game. The box is solid. Artwork is great. Uh, this game uh, was made by the creators of Monster Highway, One, one Day West, and this is, uh, I, I prefer this game even more than that one. It has more strategy in this one. All the components are very high quality. Even the 
box has a really nice insert where you can fit all of your sheep and there are certain barns and the dice. Everything kind of has a place in there. Uh, it reminds me of not necessarily game trays quality, but it has a higher quality plastic insert that I would appreciate for pretty much all games. I think it does a great job of that. And of course, the high quality production in the materials as well as it's very simple setup. This game is really easy to teach, really easy to learn and quick to play. Uh, it's something that you can basically get through in about 20 to 30 minutes. It's about right. And of course, with more players comes a little bit more thinky. There's not too much analysis paralysis. This is a family game and most people are going to be able to play this game rather quickly. They'll pick it up and they'll start blowing up your sheep momentarily, I'm sure. And that has a load of little surprises in the game. Uh, as far as the complexity, obviously, like I said, it's very low, but you start seeing the amount of strategy that you can put into the game as you start determine how many cards you want to save and where you want to use them and when you want to use them. And do you want to discard these in order to gather better cards for the specific situation? Or do you simply want to uh, spend the, the cards and utilize all the actions, the free actions you possibly can, because cards are free actions, whereas moving the sheep and switching them from a barnyard to a barn are not. And what's better, moving sheep to find your barns uh, or attempting to gather them from the barnyard into the barn before you actually lose all of your sheep and end the game? Do you want to trigger the game er early at the end or do you want to do it later? You'll have those options in the game, but of course it allows players to catch up, so you have to be careful. This is going to be a great family game for anybody who's got kids. Uh, even, even teenagers are going to really enjoy this game. Is it going to be meant for a more uh, specifically strategic-minded audience It's like really into the heavier style game? No, this is a very light game in nature. It's very light strategy. You do have options and there's a lot of choice in the game as to what you want to do and where you want to go and how you want to use the cards, but they're all very simple. It's something that's very easy to understand. It's probably slightly lighter than maybe King of Tokyo, maybe somewhere around that area. So for those of you who enjoy that type of a game, I uh, want a little bit of the cutthroat aspects to it. It's got a cute little theme trying to move sheep into a barnyard with wily coyote explosions going on and high quality products. I think you're going to enjoy this game. Not a lot of negatives I can really say about the game as far as how it's put together and how it plays, other than of course just expect a more lighter game, expect there to be some chance in the game, and of course expect this game to run, you know, fairly short. It's like I said 20 to 30 minutes, which can be a good or bad thing depending on who you are, but it doesn't matter because the game can be set up and played once again. The replayability comes in the form of the tiles being in different positions, the cards you're going to be getting in your, in your hand, and how you choose to play the game with multiple variations of what you want to do and how you want to do it presents a lot of choice in this game a very fun family hit that i'm going to be having giving to my cousins this is going to be one for them because i know they're going to play this with my aunt and my uncle there's something that they're going to bring out quite often after playing with them i saw the joy in their faces and how much they enjoyed this type of a game or as opposed to me and my gaming group who are more in our 30s probably not going to sit down and play this quite as much as they would so that's going to be the audience in my opinion for this game are you the audience for this game let me know link down below in the comment section if it's something you'd be willing to pick up why or why not have you heard of sheep boom ba before and do you have a, a family member who might be interested if you do like i said go ahead and hit the link down below that's where you can pick up the game currently available thank you Appreciate you guys watching another unfiltered gamer board game review for the game Sheep Boom Ba by One Day West Games. If you want to pick it up, you already know where to go. As well as, of course, you can check out our website, unfilteredgamer.com. Blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter, listen more. Brian's pumping out some content every week, and we have stuff there for you guys to be entertained. If you haven't seen the previous articles, they have different reviews on there of games even I haven't played. So we kind of mix it up and give you those options. And then we have, of course, crossover reviews where I review the game, he reviews the game, and you can kind of figure out, oh, which one of us best represents your mindset on what games you enjoy. You can also check out our live stream every Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. PST, where we play games just like this one on stream, so you guys can see. We're going to be doing a painting contest on our Discord. I'll be sending out miniatures to everybody interested in joining. If you're interested in getting a mini, you can go ahead and join our Discord, message me with your address or P.O. box, and I will send you out a miniature, some swag for the game Moonshell. My wife is creating that will be coming out on Kickstarter very shortly, in the next month or two and you can go ahead and join us in the contest. You can potentially win something else if you are the favored of all the miniatures painted. Thank you guys so much for watching. Patreons, thank you so much for supporting us, giving us the ability to ship out games, ship out miniatures, and do giveaways. It is strongly appreciated. Even just a dollar a month is going to uh, go a long way here. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I look forward to exploding your sheep with you next time.